Well, good morning and welcome back to the retirement sessions. It's been probably five, five weeks since I was last out on the retirement sessions. Actually, the last time I was fishing was at the Wellham weekend uh, with the lads, which was, I think, um, 10, 11 February, something like that. And it's now uh, 17th of, uh, of March and I haven't been, been out um, since then. And, and that's for a couple of reasons, actually. Firstly, the weather. The weather's been on and off, as you know. It's been freezing, it's been warm, it's been freezing. And uh, hopefully we're through that now. Uh, and today is quite a nice day. It's gonna be up to like 14, 15 degrees and it was warm overnight. So I thought I'd, I'd get out on the bank today, uh, a Friday, which is not a normal day for me, uh, and give it a go. And the second reason um, that I haven't been out for a while is because uh, after nearly three years of the pandemic and everything else, and managing not to catch COVID, went and blooming caught COVID um, two weeks ago, myself and the wife. So uh, yeah, I've been getting over that. Um, feel fine now. It's taken me a good two weeks though. Um, as I say, I feel fine now, and I feel able now to, uh, to get back out on the bank and put some sessions together, which I'm doing today at, back at Southfield. I thought I'd stay local for my first session. Um, and I didn't realize that of course, uh, she, doesn't, she doesn't actually open up at eight o'clock in the morning until the clocks change. So uh, I've had my breakfast and I'm waiting for the gates to open, which, um, which is an unusual one here. Um, I've had my breakfast at McDonald's, waiting for the gates to open. So I thought I'd get my, uh, my introduction in before we start the session. So there we go. I'm back at Southfield. I'm gonna go after that elusive uh, 20 on Pond B again today. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping with the better conditions, I can get into uh, a couple of fish. I haven't brought any winter type baits like worm or maggot. So I'm gonna go back onto wafter, boily, that sort of thing. So we'll see how we go. Okay, uh, I've had my rods in for literally one of them for about half an hour, but the other one on the Mega Method feeder with a Parker Bates um, fruit and nut uh, wafter on. I've had that literally 10 minutes while I was uh, changing a rig on, on my third rod. And uh, I picked up this, this mirror, which is probably seven to 10 pounds. There's a load of new stock uh, been introduced in the last two to three weeks, um, which I'll go through in a moment once I uh, once I get settled down, and I'll tell you what's actually been put in. But I'm uh, surmising that this is uh, one of the new stockies, a lovely little uh, mirror um, in the sort of seven to ten pound range. So that's great. That's a fantastic start um, on retirement sessions. Um, getting back into it in March. And I'm going to get this little beauty back in now and let's see what we can do from there. Right, it's five to ten and I'm finally set up with all three rods ready to go uh, in my swim. The fish that I, that I just caught, you, you'll have seen, um, I had it on time lapse, finishing off um, the, the camera on time lapse, finishing off setting up my swim and, and everything else. And, uh, and I caught the first fish um, on that. And I just cast it out, basically, um, the mega method feeder with a wafter on it, just to uh, you know keep me going, tied me through getting ready basically, getting the bait ready, the boat ready and everything else. And, uh, and I picked that first one up, seven to 10 pounds. That's one of the new stockies, I reckon. Um, the details of which I'll go through in a moment. I just wanna go through with you where I've got my rigs and, uh, and then um, you, you'll see that uh, later on in the video, I'll show you my actual rigs themselves. So my, my left hand rod, I've got if we look at the three trees, you've got the left-hand tree, the snaggy, bushy area. I've got that literally right on the end of, of, of the snags, but I'm, I'm fishing it tight, no bait runner on, really tight up, 
um, and I've got that. I've got a um, a wafter, a fruit and nut wafter over some boily crumb with sweet corn added in. You then go to the centre tree and you've got the, the sort of normal snag area where I normally fish. At the moment I've got the mega method feeder just cast to the start of that little bay and that's um, that's probably a couple of feet further than I picked that first fish up from. So that's the second rod. And then my third rod, if we come over to the disabled swim, to the right of that there are two large trees. The right hand tree is a really large tree. To the base of that, I've got my third rod about two to three feet off the far bank. I know there's a clear spot there and I've got that on a running lead basically um, with a wafter and again boily crumb with sweet corn uh, as free offerings that I've put out with a boat. So that's that's my rigs basically. What I'll do in a moment is I, I got um, a copy of the email this morning of what stock uh, had gone in from the lady and I'll just cover that with you so that you uh, so that you know that um, there's quite a bit of new stock gone into just pool B at Southfield and I'll cover that in a moment. Okay that new stock that uh, was introduced it was introduced from the, the uh, after the 20th of February and there are 20 mirrors between uh, seven and nine pound and then there are five mirrors which are between 10 and 13 pounds most of them are, are, are around, around about 12 pounds just a bit over 12 pounds to about 12 pounds 13 ounces so 27 fish um, altogether introduced um, after the week of the 20th of February so that's quite quite a few um, I'm, I'm thinking I've had one of them out already and they look uh, really nice young mirror stockies um, so uh, here's to them growing up and uh, and all becoming 20s in this uh, in this pond that, that'll be great so there we are that's what's been stocked what I'm going to do now is get a brew on I haven't had a cup of coffee yet I've been charging around I walked around the complex I got here at half seven and the uh, the gate was still closed because she doesn't open up till eight o'clock but she got down here about quarter to eight let me in and I had a good old chat with her because I haven't I haven't been here for as I say five or six weeks and uh, had a walk right round both ponds um, to look at pegs uh, and do a bit of a recce for something in the future and uh, and I didn't get started until it must have been shortly before nine o'clock I just casted a, a first rod out with uh, with some um, with some plastic sweet corn on there just to uh, just to get a rod out and then I mixed my pellet and got my uh, um, mega method feeder rod out that was about five or five past nine ten past nine and then I picked that fish up I don't know it was about quarter past nine ish and uh, a great start so there we go I've got all my rods out now um, things are looking up I'm gonna get a brew on I'll talk to you later coffee time kettles on nice cup of coffee in the good old Leeds mug And things can only get better from here. Right, it's uh, just after sort of 20 to 11. And uh, on my right hand rod, which is actually just a boily, um, on the bottom, on a running lead, with, uh, with the free offerings um, of, of sweet corn and, uh, and maize, or sweet corn, so, yeah, sweet corn and boily. Um, I've managed to uh, pick up another mirror which is probably again in the seven to nine sort of pound range um, so great that's number two I think that's another one of the stockies um, lovely looking fish and uh, good day let's get her back right just quickly show you this rig um, before I get it back out uh, using the boat as I said, it's just a simple uh, running lead with a straightforward hair rig. It's not a blowback rig, it's just a straightforward hair rig um, with, with a boilie and uh, probably five to six inches. A bit of tubing there on this side, just covering up 
uh, and securing um, the swivel and uh, and that's it so I've got that fished over or fished over fished with um, sweet corn and barley crushed up basically um, tight to the bank um, on my uh, on my right hand rod quick update I'm just over three hours now I've been uh, I've been fishing and I've had the two so that's uh, that, that's not too bad just after 12 now about quarter past 12 and uh, I suppose it's you know it's around that midday time when things tend to quieten down so what I'm going to do in a moment is put the kettle on and have a uh, a cup of bovril um, I've got a pot noodle a posh pot noodle for my lunch so I'll have that about one o'clock ish um, and what I'll do in between, um, in between my uh, my brew and my lunch, I think I'll just redo the rods into similar similar positions that they are now. Um, well, same spot for a couple of them, and uh, and we'll see how we go this afternoon. Right, it's just coming up to two thirty. Weather-wise, I've had a couple of showers. The wind's picked up a little bit, um, and it's blowing it this way. Um, but uh, I've had nothing since whatever it was quarter to 11 this morning the, the second fish that I had not even had any knocks so it's really quietened down and I'm hoping now in the last sort of three hours I'm going to fish till about 5.30 because it gets dark at about 6.15 6 now fish till about 5.30 uh, and then I'll call it a day I'm hoping that um, I can pick uh, a couple more up one or two more up in this last couple of hours speaking too soon there saying I've not had any uh, any knocks or anything um, literally as soon as I put the phone down I had a, uh, a small run on my left hand rod the one that's um, that, that's in the snag area um, picked the rod up and I walked to the right to pull it away from the snags but unfortunately it came to nothing so uh, I've cast it straight back to the same position and we'll see if uh, we can pick up more right 330 and I'm into my last two hours of the session. I've had a couple of knocks, as I said earlier on, on uh, my left hand rod, which is over in the snag area, but uh, uh, came to nothing. Um, one of them was a, a partial run, I think, uh, but came to nothing. Um, could have been small stuff, could, could have been a line bite, I don't know. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is have a brew, and then um, and then hopefully in the last two hours, I can, I can get uh, a couple more fish. Um, as they seem to uh, seem to show here early morning and and last thing in the last thing of the day but uh, still we're still in sort of coming out of winter conditions into spring so um, it'll not be as uh, as prolific as it normally is at the end of the day in uh, you know in, in warmer weather Right, it's coming up to five o'clock, still light, um, but I'm going to call it a day now. First session back after a five, nearly six week break. Um, I've enjoyed it today. It's been, uh, it's been pretty decent weather. It's been uh, warm enough and uh, 
I got the bonus of a couple of fish. All right, they were only seven to nine pounds, but uh, at least uh, I got a couple of fish. They were, um, they were welcome after such a long break. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm, I'm going to call it a day um, and pack up slowly. Um, so if I don't, uh, if I don't get anything else and uh, and show you that uh, after this uh, particular summary, then uh, then that'll be it until next week. I'll be out probably Monday, Tuesday next week. Sorry, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, um, and I might try a bit further afield down at um, Rising Sun or Elvington Fisheries. to the retirement session. Today I'm back at, at the Rising Sun fishery down in the York area. I was, uh, I was out on the 18th um, Friday at Southfield and I had a couple and uh, today is the 21st, the Tuesday. So a short break um, between this uh, double session if you like. Uh, back at the Rising Sun, I was here about six weeks ago, um, end of January, I think it was, or early February. And uh, I had, I think it was a 16, yeah, a 16 uh, uh, pound mirror, 16 dead on pound mirror out um, in the day session. Uh, it was, it was, you know, quite dark late on in the morning and early afternoon. So I only got about six hours in. Um, I, I get a bit longer today. It's just after nine o'clock. I've got my rods in and, and set up. I arrived at eight o'clock, had a walk around the lake, chatted to a couple of anglers, um, one, one by the gate on the first pegs. He'd been here since Sunday night and he's had two. A couple of other guys were here since last night. They've had nothing yet. And then um, one of the chaps who's a bailiff over in the corner, top, top corner, um, came over and did a rig check uh, with me and um, He's had two, so um, and he said there was somebody on the peg I'm on uh, either either uh, Sunday or Monday, and they had two or three. So uh, they are moving about, they are coming out, um, but of course it is still very much the end of sort of winter, early spring conditions. So uh, I'll, I'll give it till about uh, half past five, quarter to six um, today and we'll see if we can get uh, a couple of fish on the bank. I'm chasing an elusive 20 here as well. Um, I've had lots of doubles and high doubles out of here, but um, I've never had a 20. I think the 17 is about the best I've had out of here. So, um, and, and that might be going back. I fished it three or four or five times and that might be going back sort of to last year. So there we go, uh, rods are set up. I'm going, to, um, I'm going to check the weather in a moment and see what, uh, what the likelihood of rain is and then, I might, and, and then if so, I'll put my day shelter up and get a brew on. Right, um, it's now oh, half past nine. I'm, uh, I'm all set up, I've got my shelter up. I'm going to have a brew in a moment. I uh, just thought I'd run you through position of my rods and what I've got uh, rig-wise and uh, bait-wise. On my right-hand rod, um, I've got mega method feeder with uh, a Parker Bates wafter uh, with a few free offerings of, uh, of, of crushed boily and some particles and I've got that uh, in the middle of the island basically I'm fishing uh, two rods up to the island and uh, there's a red and white pole to the right of my swim basically the the limit of my swim and I've got uh, I've got that a couple of feet three feet probably from the island so that's the mega method feeder on my center rod um, to the left hand end of the island as i'm looking at it there's an overhanging tree um, and that's a really good spot normally and i've got uh, i've got a lead clip there with a fruit and nut parker baits wafter on it and uh, that's fished over again a bed of crushed boily and uh, particles and then my my center rod really um, 
the three opposite swims, the left hand of the swim, I'm left hand of those swims, I am probably level with the island, um, left hand swim sign, about that sort of area there. And on that, I've got a, uh, a psychedelic pink pop-up basically, fished over a bed of, uh, of particle and, uh, and crushed boily again. And I've had a knock on that, so I'm hoping uh, that uh, interest is gonna stay on that one. So here we go, a cup of coffee. The lad at the top of the lake that I mentioned probably 10, 15 minutes ago is still playing the fish that, uh, that he's hooked. So um, he's taking his time with it. Hopefully it's a, a, a nice one. Yeah, just, just to correct that, um, unfortunately the, uh, the fish is snagged. So uh, it's not, uh, it's not a big fish, which I thought. I just shouted to him, "Have you got a catfish on there or something?" Because he's been um, he's been holding the rod for like 15, 20 minutes now. Um, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's snagged. So there we go. Right, the next stage of the story is the boat has been brought up, and uh, the bailiff's going to see if they can uh, unsnag the fish. Hopefully, they'll. Uh, they'll be able to uh, to land it, we'll see. Yeah, okay, he's got his rig back. Um, fish wasn't uh, wasn't on, he, he did snagged on, uh, on the trees on the island, um, clearly got away, and uh, so they've used the boat to, uh, to get his rig back. There we go. Right, quick update, uh, kettle's on for lunch. Um, it's now uh, 25 past 12 and um, nothing yet, a couple of knocks, but uh, nothing uh, nothing doing. So kettle's on for lunch, and I'm having a, uh, a pot noodle, a soba wok style cup noodle. Um, what flavor is it? Yakitori chicken, and, um, and then I'll have a cup of tea or something um, with the remaining water that's left. I'll reset the rods about one o'clock, reset them at 11. Uh, I'm going to reset them every couple of hours and um, we'll see how we do. Well halfway through and I must say um, a very good flavoured uh, noodle and uh, pot noodle and uh, more than happy with it and um, with a couple of my uh, gluten-free biscuits I'm quite happy with my lunch. Kettle back on in a moment for uh, cup of coffee or tea, we'll see how we go. Right, it's quarter past three. I've uh, just reset the rods at uh, three o'clock and uh, still nothing. Uh, very quiet day, there's been, there's what? There's uh, four, five anglers, um, that are staying for 24, 48 hours on the complex at the moment. And there's three um, day only anglers that I can see. And uh, one, of, one of the day anglers is, is a match fisherman and he's catching uh, uh, small stuff. But apart from that, nobody has, uh, has caught anything. So it's very quiet, but I'm gonna give it till 5.30 and see how we do. I'm gonna put the kettle on now for a cup of coffee and um, See if we can get a blank saver before 5.30. Right, it's... Um just after five o'clock. So I've had uh, <clears throat> eight hours um, at it today. And uh, the the, uh, the most excitement I've had this afternoon was a couple of knocks on uh, two of my rods, um, but, but they came to nothing clearly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack up slowly now, take my shelter down, etc., and uh, 
and carry on till about 5.30. So I'm hoping that, I, that, I, that there's still time in that half an hour to, to pick something up and uh, I can uh, I can show you that if, if that happens. If not, then uh, that, that'll be it. That'll be the, the close for me today um, on this particular retirement session. Um, what I'm going to try and do next week is get to a completely new venue, which I've never fished before, which is um, in the York area again. Um, and hopefully the weather and conditions will uh, will allow me to do that. So there we go. Yeah, it's a, another rising sun blank. Um, that's the way it goes. That's fishing. I've still enjoyed it today. It's, uh, it's clearly, it's good to be out on the bank again. But, we, you know, you've still got to remember it's... Uh, it's the end of winter conditions really um, and although they've been there's been a couple of days where the conditions have little been a little bit warmer um, it's still uh, it's still hard work at, at this time of year thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you don't already hit that subscribe button and click the alarm bell to get notifications